guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we are going to be fixing these don't ask me what happened they're not looking that good we need to fix them so for today's nail set here is our inspiration i plan to keep these nails on for a long time like i'm gonna be doing my right hand so i just want her to have a nice nail set on that i will be keeping on for a really long time so what we're going to be needing are some poly gels so i have here a nude poly gel and also some clear poly gel then i have this glitter poly gel which is such a pretty kind of clear poly gel with like just a bunch of glitters then we're going to be using this light green called daisy and we're also going to be needing some white poly gel so that is pretty much it for the poly gels and for some nail decorations i'm going to be using some gold butterflies either these ones or these hollow ones and i'm also going to use some of these gold 3d butterflies and that's pretty much all we're going to be needing so let's just get right into this nail set so here are how my natural nails are looking they're not doing too well so we're gonna start off by pushing back the cuticles next i'm going to be taking my cuticle scissors and i'm just going to trim off this excess dead skin and next i'm going to take my fine grit sanding band All right, so next I'm just going to wipe off the nails with some isopropyl alcohol just to make sure no dust or oils or anything's on my nails. And now we're going to get sizing out these nail tips. I'm just going to be using my normal not polished nail tips like I always do. So I'm just going to get sizing these out. Okay, so I have the nail tips all sized out and now I'm going to be gluing them on with some base coat. Okay, so the next step is going to be adding on some primer and dehydrator. I haven't used primer and dehydrator in a while because I've just been changing out my nails over and over again. So I didn't want them to last very long, but I want these to last a long time. I'm thinking of just doing design changes and like fill-ins instead of just taking off the nails over and over again. I think I'm just going to do that for this hand and I don't know. I'll see how long I can keep these on. No promises though. I don't know. I might take these off. Okay, actually, so I kind of did it backwards. I don't know why. Sometimes I just like mix up my steps. What we were supposed to do was situate the nail tips and like you know trim them down and shape them before we did the primer and dehydrator but i guess it's all right i don't i don't know but we're just going to trim these nails down i'm going to make them pretty short like i know i usually say i'm gonna make them short but i never really make them short i think i'm actually gonna make these kind of short yeah this is very short for me i guess this nail set is for those who like shorter nails <laughs> This is very weird for me. Okay, well, here's the nails. Super short. So the next step is going to be reshaping these nail tips. I just want to make sure that, you know, the shape is nice and squared. And also filing the edge of the nail. You know what? Let me also time this nail set because it's kind of a shorter nail set. So I want to see how long this is going to take me in comparison to, like, my long nail sets. It's 5.45, but I probably started at, like, 5 o'clock. So... I guess we'll just say we started at 5. And then we'll see what time we finish. Next, I'm going to be removing the shine from the nail tips. Okay, so nail tips are all situated. Primer and dehydrator is on. Now we're going to be adding on a layer of base coat.
Okay, so let's get started on this poly gel application. I'm really excited to use this light green color. We're just gonna get started. I'm gonna start on the pointer finger. And in the inspo picture, this nail is supposed to be a French tip, but I don't really wanna do a French tip. So I'm going to be making this a full nail of the green. Even though this is like a shorter nail length, I'm still gonna do this in two beads just because I really wanna make sure that this nail has good structure and a good apex and everything. So I'm just gonna start off by smoothing out the poly gel until it like gets from side to side and covers the entire nail tip and once i have the nail tip covered i'm just going to straighten out the edge of the nail so i'm just going to drag all of this poly gel towards the tip just to make sure that the edges are nice and straight Okay, so I think this is a good start to the nail. I really like this color and I'm kind of happy that I'm like doing a nail set that I'm gonna keep on for a while. So I really wanna make sure that this turns out well because I'm gonna have these on for a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this first layer. Now I'm gonna go in with my second layer. I'm just going to start putting poly gel at the cuticle area, but also bring it all the way down the nail. And now I'm just going to make sure that the cuticle area is all situated. Okay, so here's how the pointer finger turned out. I really love this green color. And for the next nail, we're going to be doing some marble. So I'm just gonna take some white poly gel and put it on my mixing plate and also some clear poly gel. And I'm also gonna be using some of these gold butterflies. So for this marble, I'm just going to be basically making it a white and clear marble. What I did was I just took a little bit of white poly gel on the end of the spatula and I just kind of put it on the nail and made it go in like the diagonal pattern. It turned out like this. This is what I wanted it to look like. And I'm just going to add on the clear just like how I did the white. So I'm just going to put it in the empty areas. Okay, and now I'm going to encapsulate this and I'm just going to use the clear poly gel I have down here. So I know I've been doing so many layers on this, but I forgot to add in the butterflies. So since this wasn't really a lot of clear poly gel that I have left over, I'm just going to make this a thin layer and I'm going to add the butterflies into this and then I'm going to actually encapsulate it with an actually like good amount of clear poly gel.
Okay, so here's how the middle finger turned out. I think that was a good technique, you know, something different instead of putting on the white poly gel and the clear poly gel together and kind of swirling them around. I think I like how this looks. So the next nail is going to be an ombre. I'm just going to take this light green color and I'm going to start at the tip of the nail. And I'm going to try and make this layer pretty thin because we're going to have to go back and encapsulate the ombre. So I don't want this nail to turn out to be too thick. So I have the tip of the nail done, and the next step is to add a bead of this nude poly gel at the cuticle area of the nail. Okay, so I have the ombre done. Next, we're going to be encapsulating. Here's how the ombre turned out. I really like it and I really like how this set is coming along. I'm actually kind of enjoying the shorter nail length. So we're going to move on to the pinky nail and I'm excited for this one because we're going to be using this glitter poly gel. I'm pretty sure this is from the Fairy Gathering poly gel kit from McCart. And I'm just going to make the whole nail this color. I hope it's glittery enough because I, I want it to be a little bit more glittery than clear. So I'm just going to get smoothing this out. Um, I decided to do one bead. I think I'll be able to manage it just fine. what I really like is that this glitter is kind of on the greener side so it really matches with the other green nails. Okay, so finally for the last nail, the thumbnail is going to be another ombre, but we're going to be making it a glitter ombre. So I'm going to be putting this glitter poly gel at the tip of the nail.
here's how the nails are looking after all the poly gel is on. And doesn't it just look so strange that I have short nails? It feels strange. So I have my Macartus collector and a hand file and I'm just going to get reshaping these nails. <laughs> Okay, so I have the nails all shaped now and here's how they're looking. Next thing we're gonna do is add on these gold butterflies. So I'm first just going to paint a layer of rhinestone gel on the nail because I want these butterflies to really last and stay on as long as they can. And I'm just gonna make sure that I put a good like small bead of this where I'm gonna put the butterfly. And then I'm gonna add on a layer of top coat over this. And now I'm just going to add on the butterfly. Okay, and finally, we're just going to finish this nail set off with some top coat. Let's add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. I yeah, I think it's cute. Okay, I love the design. I like the nail design, you know, all the colors and the gold butterflies and everything like that. I love all that, except the length. I just prefer long nails over short nails, but I think these turn out really cute. And I hope for those who just prefer shorter nails, this video is for you. And I hope to leave these nails on just for a really long time, let them grow out and then like fill them in and change the design. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this light green spring nail set. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!